looking at going to, um, to Asaba. Okay. Um, that's that's not yet official, but okay. I'm just showing it for this video. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have we are almost that's done. That's just for, <laughs> our, for our subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's up guys? It's Mike Rumaka here and in today's video, I'm going to be having a conversation with a wonderful young man. He's the founder of Guinea Technologies. He's basically going to share with us his story into entrepreneurship and everything Guinea has to offer. So what's up man? What's your name? Introduce yourself to the audience. Right, so my name is Gift Malake. Okay. I'm founder and CEO of Guinea Technologies. So what we do at Guinea Technologies is we provide access to clean and affordable electricity to those low income communities. So we do that using different offerings like uh, uh, microgrid systems, our hubs, all powered by solar. So the goal is to make solar affordable to those who can't afford the offerings cost. Okay, so the goal is to make solar affordable. Yes. Okay. So I want to, I want to understand like what led into entrepreneurship. What started? What spurred this this hunger? You know, in making um, solar or energy um, affordable to, um, to to the people of Nigeria and then Africa. All right. Um, majorly, it started from the community where we were based in. Okay. Right. So during my undergraduate days, in my sophomore year, 400 level. Yeah. Um, I was in a community where we never we never had light for like four years before I entered the community. Before I yeah. entered the lodge. So, and as a student, definitely you want to use the light to study, do other things, and all. Yes. At the point, we felt like can't we share this um, solar electricity to our neighbors? Because definitely, students like sharing things and all. So we yeah. started sharing it. Before you need. Some person said they would like to use it for their business. Can we share yeah. with them? Yeah. And with that, we saw a business opportunity there. We saw that okay, can we um, use or what we have already um, provide for people yeah. and see if we can still make returns, no matter how little. Okay. And we tried it out, and before you know it, it blew up. Um, a lot of persons began to request for uh, electricity. Yeah. And we felt okay, let's let's make this formal, yeah. <laughs> right? So yeah. we expanded. We started getting more batteries, increase our panels, and everything. Okay. Fast forward to now, where we now have it um, official, okay. and we now have a um, station. We have the power, our normal power lines that leads to. We are, I think we cover, we're covering over two hundred and fifty um, meters at wow. the moment. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. That's, that's amazing. Thank so, you. what year did you start being there? Okay, yeah. okay, that's twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. So that's September. two years. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's two years. Yeah, two years. Wow. So did you start the business or the company alone, or like did you have to have to reach out to other guys to come yeah, partner yeah. with you and all yeah, that? Yeah, that's stuff? very important. Yes, yeah. that's very important. Um, having because definitely you might have the idea, you might have everything, but that's not enough. Yeah. For you to go on and push, you need to have a team that can always have your back and also um, be motivation because definitely. There will be a time where the chips will be down, where yeah. you'll be confused and be tired. But uh, when you see your team keep, when you see them moving and everything, you'll be motivated. Yeah. So, uh, in as much as I and myself and my roommates, then yeah. um, we had this. Uh, we were from um, electrical electronics engineering background. Yeah. We felt uh, it as a need to also involve people that um, are also passionate. And these are we are okay. friends that yeah. we started had startups before. Wow. We are previous that we, uh, have not really been successful. So wow. we okay, let's we'll still, look, let's yeah. uh, bring them in and yeah, yeah. they're good. So the first thing I, I picked out was that you started this business while you were still in school. Yeah. And now you're out of school, right? Yeah. You're still running the business. Yeah. That's amazing. So you said that you had a previous startup. Yeah. So what's 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 the um, problem are you guys solving? Okay, um, yeah, I think every every partner should have a membrane stay for themselves <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because you 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 know let's get it right the first yeah, time, right? Yeah, yeah. But at least it was a learning curve and learning process for us. Yeah. So we started um, an aquaponics, an agri tech startup okay. um, with. Um, the current um, team members that were oh. also part of the setup. So yeah. when we started, I called them. I said, "This thing, this idea is on my mind. Let's yeah. see what we can do." We did a market validation, did everything because we so believe in the idea that it will work, right? Yeah. At the point, we had to tell us the truth <laughs> that um, I don't think this would really um, scale or do what we want um, at the moment. So okay. we need to do something that we can easily start seeing traction and everything. Yeah. And that's how we were able to pivot. Um, actually, we had some little solar. Thing okay, the agrotech startup because we want to power it with solar, okay. So we felt like okay, let's pivot into making solar, okay. Let's start using solar for other things using okay. solar for hubs, using solar to provide electricity to people, using solar for charging stations, using solar yeah. for stuff. So that's how we pivoted, and that's how we are now. Yeah. Okay, so when you saw that that business was not working, you guys now change your business model, yes, change your okay. business that's, model. That's and amazing. Yeah. And another thing I picked out again was that. The founders of Renera now they are your former partners in the last yes, business. Yes, it's very easy, yeah, yeah, very very easy because so, yeah. you, you've already worked everything together. 
and yeah. it's not you, you don't need to start telling them or start sharing your dreams and visions they already yeah, have yeah. it with you so yeah, yeah. all you just need to do is let's keep pushing let's keep pushing yeah. i can also just remember yeah. sleepless nights you had in your previous startups and everything so it's something that just blends so easily with everyone yeah. That, that's that's cool. So I remember when we, we started our first company, me and my business partner, okay. you know, we are together okay. and that one failed, but you know, we, we started to go into YouTube and it's amazing to see you guys still, you know, pushing Maybe. with all the challenges. So I would love to know what's the major challenge that you guys are facing, you know, it's like over the past two years running the Linera, yeah. Okay. Um I think this this particular space or niche is kind of new to this state. Or to so, this state. Yes, okay. because a lot of persons are already used to having normal individual solar systems yeah. you get us an installer that will install it for them and everything but people yeah. are not used to just having the power and they don't have to pay any huge amount of money for it they just get it just like nepa right? yeah Nepal, so yeah. at some point they start confusing us with nepa people when they say <laughs> they're like don't come and cut our lives don't come and stuff like that however when they saw that we were consistent because yeah. a lot of people were reluctant it's just some person never wanted we were discouraging people that solar light is not good to okay. to spoil your appliance so you to do everything but two years we are still here and yeah. a lot of people are keep, keep adopting our systems so those are the little things the barriers you entry will had but we're good so does it does it have to do with your business model because like at first you see, i knew that you guys were like offering solar products like, yes so you guys also changed your business model perfect okay, perfect okay, yes yes okay. yes when we started definitely there by building this normal standalone system yeah. and that's what we saw the main pain points because that's very important yeah. you might you might think you're solving a problem yeah. it's a generalized and generic problem but it's yeah. not actually solving a pain point okay. the pain point with um the energy sector is not the availability it's the affordability and so we were making it avo- available to yeah. people with products. However, it wasn't affordable. Only people in the high tier class were going to afford it, right? And yeah. we were our target market to our people in low income communities. Yeah. So we had to pivot. We pivot. While we are still providing products, yeah. it's not our core primary model. We actually do that on demand. Okay. But our pro core primary model is we, we generate electricity and sell it off as a service. Wow. That is a subscription wow. model to wow. people who use it. That, so you're in kind of a subscription based business. Yes, yes, wow. yes. That was, that was, that was amazing. Yeah. So okay, now that's cool. So your co-founders, do you have anyone? I would love to talk to them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, let's that, let's yeah. just that's just by the way. That's okay. just by the way. Okay. Um, have you guys raised any funding? Yes, kind of. Yeah. Well, okay. I, before we go into the to the numbers, okay. let's talk about the vision. Okay. So what visions do you have for Grenera Techno? Like what visions? Yeah. Okay. Um, we want to be the leader okay. in urban energy generation and distribution okay. in Africa. Yes. Yeah, so Africa is the funniest continent in the world. Okay. Yet we still have over 700 million people lacking access to electricity. Well, we have the free sun coming in. So yeah. why can't you just harness this and generate enough electricity yeah. and distribute? So we want to be the leader in that space. Okay. Yeah. That, that's 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 cool. Yeah. That's cool. So let's go into the numbers now. Okay. So how how big is the the solar industry? Because you're you're meant to have this. Uh, that this is going to be driving you the numbers. Yes, so yes. how how big is this industry in Africa? Like. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're having more than two billion dollars. Yeah. Um. In terms of if we're looking at it in terms of different markets, right? Okay. Yeah. So because of the uh, our normal market target market, uh, yeah. people that can't afford. Okay. Right? That's so, a low income. Yes, and they're up to eighty five million in Nigeria alone. Wow. So if you uh, multiply that by um, the the lifetime value they are going to offer to us is yeah. grown into trillions, right? Wow, wow. Uh, so um, that's very huge, yeah, right? Very we also huge, yeah. we also have we also have people that we just want individual okay. solar systems. They yeah. already have power from yeah. other sources, but they want something that is independent of yeah. populations and yeah, everything. Yeah. So that's on the market in its own. Okay. So it's a very huge market that okay. um, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. So I asked you about the funding, like how okay. have you guys use any external funding? Yes, yes. You know, first you have to go strap first. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, this yeah. is very, very yeah, yeah. Um, this is so to convince your investors. The yeah. first first um, funding we almost had. Yeah. Um I think at that time I think we weren't ready. Okay. And then we never we've not like gotten the main pain points. We we're just okay. selling that product. Okay. So twenty thousand dollars and okay. uh, thank God we never yeah, okay. but thank God never got it because okay. Okay. um it helped us go back to the drain board we did our homework and saw that okay this is actually what you should be solving okay. that would be scalable easily okay. so after that we we're able to get um, ten thousand dollars from all on that's well, um, yeah. Af- um all on and we got 1.5 million from African foundation okay um you know power usa we have yeah. some little um, support from them too okay. so in terms okay. of cash and incubation yeah um we've been able to 
um, at least we've pushed okay. forward a bit. Okay. Yeah. I also saw something. You guys are actually raising funding because I know some guys that watch my video. They reach okay. out to me. I'm interested in investing in a business in Nigeria. You okay. commend one business for me, and okay. it's going to be amazing if you get to share with us. You know okay. some of the funding opportunities. I don't know if you guys need investors. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You guys need investors definitely. because I think it's very very important. Like you guys are solving a real problem. Yeah. And you guys definitely need investors to yes. scale. Yeah. So so like in terms of the investment aspect, like can you share with us? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the recent tech product we launched yeah. uh, for us to easily scale is yeah. um, Greenvest. So if you go okay. to invest.greenatech.com, okay. everything is well self-explanatory there. Yeah. So we have what we call crowd sale, okay. where uh, we allow the public invest directly into any of our projects, existing projects. Okay. So we already have an existing project in Asia Bodo, um, but it's already powering yeah. some businesses, right? So for us to be able to make the service better yeah. and reach more demand and everything, we have what we call crowd sale. So okay. if you go to the web, the platform, You'll be able to see each of our crowd sale and the, um, we have the maximum amount okay. um, of investors we need for that particular crowd sale okay and we have a duration okay. of uh, where the, that we are working on capital investment at the moment okay where at the, at the particular at the particular end of the month so yeah. maybe six months seven months you get your return on investment okay. Okay. with respect to what you've invested in okay right so we'll have order we'll have the long term which okay. is still coming up but we are trying to um do our um facility studies on yeah. the particular project okay. we want to work on that's long term so that that one is depending on how okay. long the lifespan of the project is okay. but the one we are currently working on now and yeah. which is currently live on the okay. website now yeah. we're looking for 50 investors okay um, the minimum investment amount is 50,000 era okay. um, the ROI is 25 percent in seven months in seven months yes okay. we've done the first one which okay. ended last month to pay it back um, the investors so if you go on the website you see the previous investment you see okay. the recent work okay, okay. I have a question like this money that is being put into the business now yeah. what, what, are, what are you going to be using the money to great, do great great yeah. and what's interesting about this is uh, we always encourage our investors to always come around to see what we're doing okay. right to see what your money is affording and purchasing yeah. for us and everything so currently we need storage systems right okay. we need to increase our battery battery capacity yeah. a lot of persons are actually on the wait list we have a lot of wait list people that are ready to connect us but we are asking them to pause okay. while we raise funds to get more battery banks and everything okay. Okay. so build power so we're using that for battery the previous one we used them to increase our panel size okay yes but this one is currently for batteries and as we purchase the batteries everything will be updated on the platform you'll be okay. able to see what your money is doing and everything okay. and you're also free to visit anytime okay yeah okay, that's cool so now let's come into the into the kind of revenue you guys are generating okay. revenue yes right? yes okay. yes because because nobody wants to put in money into a business that is not generating revenue yes because most times you start asking how these guys are able to you know give us an ROI. it's basically you guys kind of a Ponzi scheme where you use okay. other investors money yeah. to pay these other ones and all that stuff so it's good that you guys are actually generating revenue yeah so uh, i don't know if it's if you're open to that because i'm very very open okay very, very i'm open. very open to asking i don't know if you're open right. to telling us well, sharing numbers well, okay all right, in terms of revenue because yeah. these guys watching this video like these guys are ready to put in money into business Okay. So I want to know, like, can you share with us some revenue numbers? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Interesting in um, our previous investment cycle, yeah. we do update our investors. With okay. Every at every month, we okay. have a normal round down yeah. of the revenue we've been able to make. So roughly, yeah. revenue yeah. Um, is averaging between four hundred to five hundred thousand naira monthly. Okay, on a m- every a year month. Wow, so we profit is around three hundred thousand naira. So so mm-hmm. now profit is kind of the one thing about uh, the sector is we have less running costs so okay. most of our costs is pay, perhaps paying salaries paying our agents that collect money and everything okay. so okay. if we raise more funds definitely we'll be able to automate most of these processes okay. and um, even if collection the payments yeah. and everything that when you increase our battery banks we'll be able okay. to even get more people that we increase um, the revenue and everything but currently 400 500 000 monthly uh, we don't go below below that in terms at all. of revenue yes okay yes. okay then in terms of um let's see your operate, op- operating cost like okay what's your operating cost okay um currently we have um, a staff strength of six okay. people that are collecting salary so yeah. um uh, every month, like how much you spend you think that you guys okay spend about hundred and, and, and something thousand hundred and twenty something thousand yes monthly okay, cool. okay. yeah yeah, so it has a low yeah. running cost. Okay, that's what's okay. about sector. Immediately okay. you install the system, yeah. you run for as long as the lifespan is. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. That's cool. So you do see yourself scaling into other states and then you take over Nigeria and Africa. Definitely, definitely. And that's why we have yeah. this our green vest platform. Okay. Because each state we go to, yeah. um, we actually we we'll see if, if that place is a very viable place and yeah. we'll put up the uh, we we'll start a project there okay. and then pull up an investment because we started with our money first to yeah. be sure that that is viable okay. before we invite the public to invest wow. and everything wow. so that's that what we do so we're looking at going to, um, to Asaba okay. um, that's 
that's not yet official but okay. we're just showing it for this video okay, uh, okay. so we have we are almost that's done that's, that's <laughs> for, our, for our subscribers yeah. <laughs> so we are almost okay, yeah. done we're almost yeah. done it's going to be a very very huge project really. okay, so that's yeah. why it's taking us time we've been on it for three months now oh. trying to make sure yeah. that everything is set now when it's set uh, yeah. the public will know about it you said you have a staff strength of how many again? Six. About six years. Okay, okay, yeah, six, okay. yeah. So the the agents, like, how how do you work with your agents? The kind of um, the the basically are they salesmen or what? Like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you know, the major thing agents we need here are collection because okay. we're working with low income communities, right? Okay, yeah. So um, they they don't they're not really used with tech. Okay, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Only few persons pay yeah. directly and have um, a okay. smartphone that can pay. Yeah. So we have agents actually go collect the money from them, yeah. depending on uh, the, how the schedule of um, collection yeah, they yeah. are going ahead. So, and they have their own salary, everybody on salary. We don't okay. pay on contract oh, okay. basis because okay. we already know our revenue is fixed. Yeah. It's a subscription model. We always know that this, this person pays yeah, at a particular yeah, yeah. time ahead. So, and that's wow. it. So yeah. amazing. So what advice do you have to anyone that is looking at, you know, getting into entrepreneurship or maybe making investments in Nigeria? I want to know what advice do you have for anyone. Let's, let's talk about those that want to get go into entrepreneurship. What okay. advice is entrepreneurship had? Like what advice do you have to give them? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> actually, there is no one advice, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Only, going to, only going to say it from my lenses, okay, right? What yeah. about a real experience? Yeah. Um, definitely, just know that we have a lot of mortality rates okay. with <laughs> entrepreneurship startups. Just know that yeah, and yeah. don't fall too much, don't fall in love with your idea too much that you can't change something about it. Yeah. You get because it's all about refining. Even yeah. Dangote refines his idea, yeah. change some things, drop some things and everything. Yeah. Because the goal is to be successful yeah. and help other people, right? Yeah. So um, when you're going into it, don't also look at the end at the at the first well, time. What should motivate you is are you making that little progress? Because you surely get to the way you're looking for. That's so true. if you see other people being successful and you're like, I'm not there yet, that's not what you're looking at, right? It should just be a motivation, but it shouldn't be a reason why you're doing what you do. What you're doing what you're doing is because you're actually saying you're making some little progress and you are realistic to yourself that that thing you're doing is going to work. If you're realistic enough and you have the right team, I think you are good to go. right? And have people around you that can, like, I have people that I speak to, yeah. uh, you get, like, I'm facing this challenge, I'm yeah. thinking about this, what do you advise, what do you think I should do and everything. And they encourage me, right? Tell me something, they give me some contact, connect me, recommend some things to me and everything. So that, that community is also very key and important. Don't isolate yourself as an entrepreneur in Nigeria. Very key. So thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate it. You're a wonderful guy. You're hey, wonderful. Thank You're you. going to go far. I believe that. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate You're welcome. it. You're welcome. Yeah. You're watching this video. I have another wonderful video where I discuss with a fish farmer and he shared with us his journey on how he's now making millions from the fish farming business in Nigeria. So you can click on the card showing your screen to watch that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, guys, see you on the next one. They will know.